We are back at it again here with another video with the invest for tomorrow to the first time viewers and investors. Welcome to the channel to all subscribers. Welcome back. Here we are with the SPY, the S&P 500 index, continuing to fight to hold support. And in today's volatility, our SPY buy at 10.05 a.m. sent out a bear indicator. And from that moment forward, outflows crossed the midpoint to the downside. Pure weakness down on 42 vision and put options went up. 200 percent plus within an hour guys if you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts you can now gain access to it as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction whether stocks are going up or going down so here we are with the spy the s p 500 index fighting to hold support here and in today's video we're going to break down the key levels i would watch going into tomorrow what's going on with the inflow versus outflow but before we do i want to share with you guys the home opportunity that was mentioned this morning over at the discord so the home run today was spectacular and beyond expectations and if you guys want to know about these stocks early on and receive this clarity and edge of the charts you can now gain access to it as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together so the home run today was from our tesla bot our tesla bot sent out a bear indicator at 705 a.m and from that moment forward, outflows cross the midpoint to the downside. Pure weakness down on 42 vision and put options went up 100% plus within an hour, guys. If you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators getting connected over to our bots. We look forward to having you join us and we strive for opportunities like these every single day let's jump to these charts here we are with the spy stock the s p 500 index continuing to hit dip areas of why we're fred borders and if this is your first time coming across the channel this is 42 vision which allows us to see the dips from the rips the rips to the dips and where the strength and weakness lies within the charts and we also use our born bear indicators and inflow versus outflow as an extra layer of confirmation which i'm going to pull up here and you can now gain access to as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction whether stocks are going up or going down and in today's video i'm going to pull up the inflow versus outflow indicator which adds that extra layer of confirmation and gives us that edge within the volatility. So here we are with the SPY stock, the S&P 500 index, back under a bear indicator since Monday up here at 514.13 level. We broke this down and we were talking about how crucial it was that it broke through the support of 510, headed down towards 505, and it was fighting to stay above it. Tight consolidation here, and if it broke, 503 and 500 would be the next levels right those are the key levels we broke down and here we are fighting to stay above 500 and we're going to talk about the key levels i would watch going into tomorrow but this bear indicator up here since 514 has been holding strong here on the 30 minute same thing on the qqq within the volatility bear indicators have been dominating today another one popped up at 432 you have tesla here with some tight consolidation here between 154 and 159 but still looking weak now a born indicator popped up and it's going to be crucial to break through that 160 level to justify any strength to the upside and test key resistance levels i will be watching that and then you have apple here with extreme weakness since monday as well since the 175 level and coming back down to a crucial support that we've been watching in the history of this chart right between that 167 to 169 area and every time it's gone over 170 it fights to hit newer highs but it's rejected again a crucial level up here at 175 
And that's where that bear indicator popped up. And we have Netflix here with a lot of volatility trying to hold that support above 600. Every time it goes towards it, bounces back up. But back under a bear indicator today here at the 622 level and hit lows here so far of 607. So lots of weakness here on overall charts and they're fighting to hold tight consolidations and tight support levels. And if they break, that's going to be something to not ignore, right? So we have the spy here near a crucial level, the 500 level. That's where things slowed down twice back in February. It would reject it and come back down to 494 before finally double bottoming and breaking out towards the new all-time highs when it reached and continued up towards the 520s. And here we are with the SPY under a bear indicator on the 30 minute. We zoom out to the one hour, same thing since Monday at the 512 level and it continues to hit multiple dip areas. And when we zoom into the volatility of the 15 minute, it was under a bear indicator in the first half at 505 and a bull indicator popped up here when it bounced from 501 up towards 504 and rejected and it's going to be crucial for inflows to follow to justify any further move to the upside and continue a staircase effect here if this bull indicator is going to have any strength so i'm going to pull up the inflow versus outflows and break down the key levels i would watch going into tomorrow here we are with the SPY stock, the S&P 500 index on the 30 minute chart with outflows dominating all day since the open. It crossed over and it hit lows here of 6.6, 6.7 negative. And here it is trying to bounce back up and currently at negative 3.04 and green trying to head towards the midpoint on this slight sideways action right because this is a tight consolidation between 500 and 504 and currently just sitting at 575 by just a few cents fighting to stay above the 500 level of support these inflows will need to cross the midpoint to the upside to further reflect and back up that bull indicator that popped up on the 15 minute and try to roll it over into the 30 minute and start to show some strength so here we are with it trying to push upwards if we zoom out and look at the one hour we could see it here outflows still have been dominating since friday of last week every time it gets really close to the midpoint it quickly rejects it and pulls back down and that's how we've continued to see these drops right since that outflow crossover from up here at the 517 level so here we are fighting to hold support and outflows in the bigger picture are red pulling downwards away from the midpoint and at negative 5.44 and it has room to go lower based off the history of the chart it's hit lows here of negative eight and even negative nine even down here at negative six and negative seven so these inflows do need to start pushing up i will be watching that going into tomorrow now when we go ahead and zoom into the volatility of the 15 minute we could see the sharp drop and full transition from the rip area to multiple dip areas and these outflows dominating all day in the first half trying to come back up and quickly outflows dominating again on that second sharp drop from 504 down towards 500 now these inflows are really close and if these outflows continue to dominate and push downwards it could quickly start to reflect that weakness into these charts now the first support i'll be watching is 500 then below that is 498 especially if that weakness rolls over into the 30 minute and then the next level will be 495 to the upside i'll be watching if these inflows can push back up this is going to be crucial to justify this staircase effect so far and the bull indicator that popped up on the 15 minute i'll see if it can roll over into the 30 minute and one hour get these inflows to cross the midpoint as well and the first resistance is 504 then above that comes 506 and then i'll be watching the 508 area so these are the key levels i'll be watching to the upside and to the downside the bull and bear indicators are going to be crucial and the inflow versus outflows i'll be watching them the rest of these after hours and going into tomorrow's volatility as always guys thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money